Hello everyone, welcome back. This time I'm planning to start a new Azure training batch from 6 September. In this training, we will try to cover Azure Administrator, which is AZ104 course content. Also, we will try to incorporate AZ303 architect technologies, which is in, currently in beta mode because the previous course content, which is AZ300 is going to expire in September 30th. So the new course will be AZ303 and it has a couple of things that are newly added. Let's see what it has. So if you go to the course content outline, it has a couple of things related to infrastructure monitoring and security and storage accounts. I'm talking about architect technologies, okay? And implementing solutions for customers by using virtual machines or maybe Unix or Linux or based on the customer requirement, how you can implement the implement, implement the solutions and automate networking, active directory and hybrid identities in the sense within the active directory, how you can integrate with your on-premise and all the stuff how, and then management and security solutions, migrate the workloads, how you can consolidate the data from your on-premise to Azure and advanced networking, load balancing and security stuff and governance, how you can manage the Azure infrastructure by applying role-based access control for your users and uh, applications and securing the application by using key vault, managed identities and application registration. Okay, and serverless app services, which is your app, Azure app services, functional apps, and other stuff. Containers, okay, how you can run the container, that will be Docker or the Kubernetes cluster, how you can deploy and manage it, and databases. Okay, you'll have pass components, NoSQL, and SQL database pass components. This, this, these are the components which are incorporated in 303. If I go back to the administration part 104, let's have a look into the course contents very quickly. So again, Active Directory in administration point of view. Okay, and role based access control in day to day administration point of view. And subscriptions and governance how you can manage your subscriptions in in administration storage accounts storage and files and blobs yeah so a lot of lot of day-to-day -day administration part within the storage they have a couple of sections and then high availability managing virtual machines managing virtual machines managing containers and serverless app services logic app functional as event grids and all and then networking, right? Networking, DNS, and virtual network components like security groups, NSGs, firewall rules, Bastion console, and application security groups, and DDoS and stuff. So it is not in the scope, but we still, we still have them. Load balancing, advanced networking, troubleshooting within the network scope and how you can integrate with your on-premise that we will try to cover backup and recovery disaster recovery bcdr business continuity and disaster recovery we will try to incorporate everything in the same section okay and past components like databases we don't have anything as such here so these past components you have in the architect let me scroll down in the last architect so what i did i have consolidated both of them and created the course content. Let's have a look into it quickly. We'll talk about the basic introduction. Maybe this, this comes under AZ900. And then we'll, we'll spend some time on networking. We will try to cover networking, load balancers, and securing environment, on-premise integration, and the uh, what we can call it as uh, load balancers or other stuff everything in one networking session so it, it gonna take around 10 to 12 sessions to cover all this stuff and then we'll talk about virtual machines we will talk about storage we'll talk about business continuity and disaster recovery options and then past components like your all your databases like SQL 
NoSQL and open source SQL databases. Open source in the sense these three. Okay, and then serverless app services, functional apps, right? You still have functional apps somewhere over here. Yeah, logic apps and functional apps, right? And we will try to cover Active Directory in one session or two sessions, two long sessions in the weekends. And managing an automation, workbooks, dashboards, what all the things that you can do within the automation scope. And then microservices, microservices in the sense, your Docker and Kubernetes, how you can deploy and manage the cluster. And then your infrastructure monitoring, diagnosis, analysis through log analytics workspace, dashboards, how you can configure, how you can configure the notifications, all this stuff, we will try to cover over here. Apart from that, we will try to cover a few third-party tools as well, which is your Packer and Terraform, HashiCorp tools, which we will use it for your day-to-day -day when you're designing or implementing a solutions for your customers. We will talk about these two tools. Okay, apart from this, the additionally, we will try to cover Azure DevOps within this within the same course. And we're going to take three or four sessions, brief sessions on DevOps portal. What what is the what is the structure and how you can manage the organization, how you can set up the project, how you can uh, uh, set up the repositories and CI/CD pipelines, integrate the things with the Azure resources, how you can deploy the uh, source code from your DevOps portal to Azure app services or any other Azure front-end applications. So that we will try to cover in a couple of sessions. And then we'll talk about a couple of migration projects and how you can handle them in your day-to-day -day or even you're planning for uh, implementing solutions for any customer. And then we'll talk about cost optimization and cost estimation for your new projects. These are the things we will try to cover. What I will do is I'll upload this course content in the video description. Okay. Also, I'll share all the meeting details meeting details and you guys can directly jump on to a whatsapp group so that i can share the rest of the details uh, on the recorded session information and other stuff we can discuss more if you if you can join into the whatsapp group and the fee i'll, I'll charge twelve thousand for this whole course it will be like two times initially you have to pay six and once a half a course is done you can pay another six thousand you can kind you can find more information on here on my website and you can watch previous sessions or a couple of demo sessions and prerequisites like Windows or VMware or any other virtualization platform basics you can watch from my YouTube channel I have, I have mentioned here so all these details I'll, I'll upload in the video description you can find them and you can join them on the same link which I have provided over here okay and see you soon on 6 thank you